today we'll be drawing Anna from Frozen 2. So this is my third Frozen tutorial. The first one, uh, first one was Olaf. The second one was um, Christoph. So third one is Anna. So let's go. Let's go for this tutorial. We need a pencil, a paper, and an eraser, and different types of black ink pens for inking later on. For this tutorial, I have my paper in portrait mode. Let's start. Okay, so let's start by finding a center line. So my center line is going to be a bit, a lot slanted. Okay, so pretty long center line. Okay, and now one line like that, one line like that. Just sorry for that it was too light so one line and line like that so just imagine our jaw is gonna be here so just it is kind of getting a rough idea of where things should be okay so there there I go right so and then that so it again it's just a rough idea okay so Let's, let's go with that and then let's um, draw the neck so right there and there it's like that okay so yeah let's go into the details so yeah so we'll be adjusting from after after drawing the eyes and the nose all right let's start off the nose the eye line it's gonna be right here pretty down okay so the nose right there okay so um if you have seen my christoph drawing um it's he has a pretty big nose but for anna it's pretty small olaf it's just a carrot okay so zoom in yeah okay so it's pretty small nose like that then it just goes up goes till there Okay, so yeah, so that's kind of like a bridge for it. Right, so let's just draw the eyes right now. So the eyes are pretty big comparatively to the nose. Okay, so one line like that, it comes down. Okay, and then just turn that like that. So like that, sort of like that. So that's the shape that we're going for. And let's draw both the eyes. It looks really weird right now. It looks like an alien. Well, let's see how it is at the end. It's like Anna or like another person. Alright, so try to find the exact size and shape for the eyes. So, that's really important. Yeah, really weird right now. Sorry about that. You just right, so that's good. So yeah. So the eyeballs. Try to get the eyeballs the same size, about the same size. So there you go. So those are my those are both of my eyeballs, not my eyeballs, the eyeballs in the drawing. Yep, so again, just shade that part in, highlighting just a part of it. Like that. Okay, and now the most important thing is make sure that the line below the lower part of the eye, it's pretty thick, like that. And right here also, not, not right here, but. Okay, so let's see some eyelashes. Pretty big eyelashes that come till here and right here also. So now it's kind of looking more like a person rather. So yeah. Sharpen the sharpening that point. Alright, so now 
instead of going like this from the nose, we're going to be going like like this. That's what I did right here. Alright, a smile. Pretty gentle smile. Like that looks completely weird and not like Elf. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. It is, let's just keep working on that. Try to find it perfectly. Right, so like that, and then right here. Okay, and then just a even smaller line like that. Right, so that's good. So let's, as I told, let's start by adjusting. Right. Right there, imagine it going till here, pretty sharp, and most importantly, not sharp. My bad. It should be all like um good curves, smooth curves. So try getting that part right. Now this will just take a bit of time to do getting the proportions right. So I have done that. After that, it just goes straight in. So right here, a line like that. Okay, so as I told, I'm just giving it nice curve. Sorry, I have to rotate the paper, it'll be easier for me. Okay, so now we have done we have come to that so I'm just going to be shortening the lips, the size, not the length, okay. Yeah. Right, so as I told, even for Christoph, the people of Arundel have some spots. So just, for that. Alright, so now let's go into the hair. So, right there. Imagine, um, as I, um, even in the Christoph tutorial, we will be doing uh, the hair then the eyebrows because uh, the hair covers part of the eyebrows. It will be easier if we do it the opposite way. So that's why. Right. Okay, like that. So we are not um, drawing uh, Anna where que uh, Elsa is the queen. We are, draw we are drawing uh, Anna from Frozen 2 at the end where she becomes the queen. Since Elsa goes into the crooked forest again I think right so just drawing some dividing it like that okay goes up like that looks completely weird right so comes in it's shorter at this side and just goes in and just give it another bundle like that okay and then right here another bundle like that so and then let's just draw part of the ear like that and just a circle inside like that and another line so that's kind of for the details okay so as I told the neck pretty straight neck so pretty long also don't make it too long it will be weird so I will be ending it right there so there you go you have that but not yet finished. We have to, we have to put the TR up. Alright, so as I told, let's just divide this into segments. So it's sort of like giving it a curve. And then just highlighting each segment with like sort of like bumps. So that it creates a more effect like there's some hair, thick hair right there. Right now, right here. Again, right here, let's do that. As I told, highlighting the spots, even for Christoph, I did like that. So, let's try to just get the spots where there will be light reflecting. So, every time in the middle of a bundle of hair, let's just call it like that. Okay, the, um, I'm going to be not shading it really dark. So if you can see it and understand what I mean. So just giving you some strands of hair. 
and give us some strands that are loose also coming down so it will create an even better effect so leave some space and do a strand right here ok and then just place that so some strands like that and that's good ok right here oops sorry yep. so just do that I'm not going to be giving any instructions right now so just keep going still have a long way to go especially the TRR it's pretty um, difficult to draw there are a lot of details is better not difficult to draw it is easy but there are like a ton of details so let's try simplifying that okay, so hair 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 it doesn't look like Anna till now that's okay let's just complete it and see how it is so most importantly right now you have to see uh, check whether all your body uh, face parts are in proportion so that's the most important thing uh, most important thing when it comes to sketching characters so I make the mistake a uh, lot often when I make the eye really large compared to the nose and the mouth so it looks really weird so try to omit that ok so let's just keep going just some more parts it's not compulsory if you uh, if you have to do this she is brown haired and I am giving this kind of shading it kind of looks it makes it look more realistic of course she is animated she is an animated character but it kind of looks realistic makes it so yeah and finally for here so most importantly you have to notice the way the hair goes so some some are like curved some are straight so that's a really important thing okay even here there are some bundles so I'm just gonna be simplif simplifying that and it just goes behind the neck like that so yeah so still we didn't draw the eyebrows let's try to draw them and let's see if it makes a difference makes it look like Anna okay. so don't draw thick eyebrows I'm going to be trying to draw thinner ones right here also ok so just make it thin as it just keeps going so there you go so that does look like Anna I don't know comment below what you think whether it looks like Anna or not right so the neck like that just erasing some parts so I made a mistake I made the eyeball really small so, yeah finally we just have to do the tiara because she's a princess sorry a queen right so or if you want you can just leave it like that but let's just go ahead and do that so just a small line above it and another line above that okay so in the second line we're going to be drawing like v's sort of like yeah V, v for victory not B's V's and we are going to be doubling those V's so it's sort of like a gem that is under ok so let's do that and now imagine it going like that going like that and goes to the top like that ok so let's divide that into 1 2 3 4 and 5 so right there so right every point it begins goes like that so 
let's do that so yeah all right now finally I get one more and inside it just double that in so there are a ton of details here I just try to keep it simple and inside just draw another small diamond sort of shape so that's kind of like a gem and in the most outermost triangle there's three lines in the top so yeah all right so pretty good now right here one two so kind of like v is in the middle key and then a center line a center line a center line a center line and now let's just do like sort of like a webbing so kind of like webbing not exactly but you understand right so two circles two circles two circles just like that so all over as I told it's really complicated this one but I've simplified it actually to be and then another one just going out like that and then right here and then just draw some strands of hair slightly and you can you could just see a bit of this ear actually speaking okay so that's good Alright, so just doing some final things. Yeah, so there you go. That's pretty good. So yeah. So I'll be ending it right there. So zooming out. So there you go. You are Anna from Frozen 2. Right, so just yeah. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So if you want to see my latest video, click right here. If you want to see the Frozen playlist, all the Frozen uh, drawings that I've done, click right here to see it. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, not compulsory, click right here to do it. So, that's right, signing off for now. Bye-bye.